Sponsored by Witch Song Miniatures, the number one most subscribed to tribe on my mini factory. We all love that little jump for joy we all get when we buy a new product. Something to improve your skill or increase efficiency. But with so many weird, gimmicky, and just plain bad products in the world, how do you know what ones you actually need? Hey, it's Lila, and I'm working towards becoming a full-time YouTuber. If you like what I do, want to improve your skill, and join an amazing community, then go support me over on Patreon. Before we start, do you actually need any of these products? I don't know, maybe? Cardamom, cardamom, cardamom. But all of them increase my hobby enjoyment, and they might be exactly what you need. My signature look in miniature painting is using vibrant colors, and vibrant colors are notoriously difficult to work with. So when I want Knock Your Socks Off Vibrant, there is one paint brand that I go to. Whether through an airbrush or with a paintbrush, golden fluorescent paints are the most vibrant paints I have ever used. Typically, one has to choose between vibrancy and opaqueness. And while we are never going to find a fluorescent pink paint with the consistency of Chimera, I can still search for the most vibrant, most opaque paint I can find. The high flow paints work perfectly in the airbrush and are super smooth when applied with a brush. The fluorescent acrylics are thicker, show brush strokes, dry very fast, and overall are more difficult to work with. Their one saving grace is that they are more opaque than the high flow. Since I have both lines, I like to mix the high flow and the acrylic together to get the best of both worlds, where I have a more opaque color, but the smooth application of the high flow. If you don't want to purchase both lines, then I recommend going with the high flow. The high flow mixes with other colors beautifully and is perfect for the airbrush. If opacity is a problem you want to solve, try mixing in white with your high flow paint and then painting your high flow over top of that to achieve full vibrancy. But if there are a few colors that you use over and over, then I recommend getting both sets and combining them. And be sure to stick around to the end to see one of the wildest paints out there. I don't like assembling. The detail work that goes into assembling and gap filling is my least favorite part of miniature painting. Instead of suffering through this, I went out looking for products that would help me get this step done easier and faster. Let's start with gap filling. Green stuff and milliput can take forever to dry. And while sprue goo is magic with plastic models, it doesn't solve my problem with resin or metal. Instead, I found a product that fills gaps and glues your models together in a single step. This UV resin pen from Bondic is magic. It comes in this neat little squeeze pen and has a fine tip applicator, allowing for detailed resin application. The resin takes seconds to cure, cures very smoothly, and takes paint well. And while I love this UV resin pen, there is one downside. If you mess something up, there isn't much you can do about it as it can't be sanded and is difficult to remove. So if you're just a general hobbyist and want a better way to gap fill and glue your models, then this is perfect. But if you're working on a model for a competition, maybe skip this one. Before we continue, let's take a minute to talk about Witch Song. Witch Song models are anything but miniature. For this video, I'm painting the current seasonal model, Dasher the Corrupted. The model comes pre-supported and is so intricately sculpted I couldn't help but feel inspired. For just $1 a month, you can get access to their highly detailed pre-supported files and coordinating D&D 5e stat sheet. For just $3 a month, you get access to everything else, plus an oversized bust, access to their seasonal and loyalty rewards, and a 50% off coupon to use in their My Mini Factory store. If you want to try before you buy, download their completely free SCL file, The Faceless King. Check out Witch Song today using the link in my description box. Alright, back to painting. To achieve max efficiency when assembling, I bought this new tool that does basically everything that I need all in one. For $15, I can purchase the Army Painter File set, or for $20 on sale, 
I can get this handheld cordless rotary tool. It comes with attachments for drilling, filing, cutting, sanding, and more. I use the engraving tool to remove mold lines, and if I need to, I can use the polishing attachment to remove any marks from my file. The drill is perfect for pinning models together for extra security, and I don't have to worry about hurting my hand or it just taking forever in general. It also comes with attachments for sanding and carving stone, both of which I recommend avoiding. I have tested out the file and drill on UV resin, resin, and plastic, but I have not tested on metal. If you need to remove mold lines from an entire army, or just have a big project that it requires a lot of assembly, then this product is exactly what you need. We all know that the darkest color is black, but I'm sure that all of us have experienced that moment when you wish there was a color that was darker. Well, luckily for us, there is a paint that is blacker than black. Black 3.0 from Culture Hustle absorbs 99% of visible light, making it one of the blackest paints in existence. The paint needs to be very well mixed before you can use it, and honestly, it's a huge pain in the butt. But once thoroughly mixed, can be thinned with water to your desired consistency. The paint applies with a sort of soft texture. I don't know, it's really weird but is not too difficult to work with once you get the hang of it. Since applying varnish over top can dull the light absorbing properties, which ruins the point of using the world's blackest black, painting in these deepest shadows is always my last step. To achieve full blackness, apply thin but opaque layers, dry with a hairbrush, and then wait at least two hours before applying a second coat. If you like this video, then you should check out this one where I talk about products that have changed my life. All right, like, comment, subscribe, join me on Patreon. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.